Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Anthropic has just released Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and it's currently setting the standard for AI models globally. It seems to be the best model available so far for interaction, surpassing all others, which is simply quite remarkable, especially given the recent launch of GPT-40. What makes this really interesting is that Claude 3.5 is not even going to be Anthropic's largest model. It's actually a precursor to even more advanced models they plan to introduce in the future. So now let's jump into the details. On the graduate level reasoning on the GPQA, it has achieved a 5.9% improvement over GPT-40. Its performance metrics are impressive across various benchmarks. 88.7% on MMLU, 92% in multilingual math, 91.6% in reasoning over text, 93% in the big benchmark, 71.1% in math, and 96.4% in the GSM8K grade school math benchmark. Now, what's fascinating about these benchmarks is that most are zero-shot scenarios. This means there's just one question followed by an answer. Then in some instances labeled as zero-shot chain of thought, the model is prompted to explain its reasoning before delivering an answer, which typically enhances the response's quality. In contrast, three-shot scenarios involve three interactions with the model before posing the final question, improving the model's reasoning capabilities. Interestingly, there's also a mention of five-shot scenarios, a notable contrast to gpt 40s zero-shot capability. Now, let's take a peek at this demo where Claude is helping a user named Sam craft a novel. It provided intricate details and sophisticated support that are truly cutting edge. You know, folks, user feedback from these early tests suggests that this model offers a unique experience not previously encountered. Then, one notable feature is the transparent text generation visible in another window during the interaction. This allows users to observe the model's operations in real time, which is a really, really nice addition. It's worth mentioning that Claude has consistently excelled in coding tasks, often understanding and executing coding intentions with remarkable precision. I think this functionality continues to set it apart in the realm of AI models. So folks, this basically means that Anthropic has provided us with a free coding model that's not just advanced, but also showcases its strong reasoning abilities vividly. During a showcase that caught my eye, they demonstrated Claude's enhanced vision capabilities. For example, in a scenario where a user was preparing a lecture on the human genome, they input two images depicting a genome sequencing timeline. The user then asked Claude to transcribe this data into JSON format. Impressively, Claude handled this task quickly and without errors, underlining its efficiency and the remarkable speed at which it operates. I think what's truly remarkable about Anthropic's approach is their focus on delivering not only a high-quality product, but also ensuring it's incredibly fast, particularly when you consider the cost-to-speed ratio. Additionally, in the demo, the user added their own color palette to the data, and Claude seamlessly incorporated these changes, leading to an enhanced visualization of the data. A particularly exciting aspect of this demonstration was how quickly a presentation was created from the process data. The user simply instructed Claude to use one of the charts in a slide, and in mere seconds, a usable presentation was ready to go. Then folks, a notable addition to this model is the concept of artifacts. Artifacts are fascinating as they appear alongside your chat, allowing you to review, iterate and expand on your creations in real time. For example, a user asked Claude, can you create an 8-bit star crab for me? And almost instantaneously, Claude provided the code on the right-hand side of the screen. This instant response enables users to further request items, like when the user asked for seashells in the same style, and Claude quickly complied, adding seashells to complement the crab. The user then engaged Claude to craft multiple items within this artifact area, leading to the creation of an entire game. The user suggested, let's make it playable, have the crab jump over oncoming seashells, maybe add some styling too. I think I want to call this Crab Claude. After a few more tweaks and code inputs from Claude, the game was ready to play. I mean, we're talking about creating video games with simple text prompts, folks. 
But what absolutely took me by surprise, and it seems I wasn't alone in this, was the dramatic shift in the price to intelligence ratio of the models from Anthropic. Traditionally, we've seen a predictable trend where lower cost correlated with lower intelligence and vice versa, charting a smooth upward slope. However, Claude 3 Sonnet breaks the mold dramatically. It offers a higher level of intelligence at the same price point as its predecessor, Claude 3 Opus. Then, folks, another standoff feature they discussed is agentic coding. Claude 3.5 Sonnet has shown remarkable proficiency here, solving 64% of problems in an internal agentic coding evaluation, compared to just 38% of Claude 3 Opus. This evaluation tests a model's ability to understand an open source code base and execute a pull request, like a bug fix or a new feature, based on natural language description of the needed improvements. What's crucial here is that the model operates without seeing the tests of the code base, mimicking real-world software engineering conditions. The problems are based on actual pull requests to open source code bases, involving various tasks from searching and viewing to editing multiple files. You know folks, Claude 3.5 Sonnet's ability to nearly double the coding performance of its predecessor sets a striking precedent for the future. It demonstrates not just incremental improvements, but substantial leaps in capabilities. The other models pale in comparison. Claude 3 Haiku at 17%, Claude Sonnet at 21%, Claude 3 Opus at 38%, and Claude 3.5 Sonnet leading at an impressive 64%. Now, one burning question on everyone's mind is how Claude 3.5 Sonnet, already a huge leap from the previous model, sets the stage for future developments. We've learned that Anthropic plans to substantially improve the trade-off curve between intelligence, speed, and cost every few months. They're gearing up to complete the Claude 3.5 model family with the upcoming release of Claude 3.5 Haiku and Claude 3.5 Opus later this year. It's going to be interesting to see how much Claude 3 Opus evolves from its current benchmarks. Remember, until the recent shakeup by GPT-4.0 and now Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Claude 3 Opus was the reigning champ. Given that Claude 3 Opus was their largest and most capable model to date, the anticipation for what Claude 3.5 Opus might bring is palpable. If the trend holds, we can expect some truly dramatic enhancements in benchmarks, reinforcing anthropic standing in an industry that shows no sign of slowing down. Looking ahead, folks, Anthropic has also hinted at exciting expansions. They're working on new modalities and features to bolster support for more business use cases, including seamless integrations with enterprise applications. One particularly intriguing development is the exploration of memory features for Claude, which would enable the AI to remember a user's preferences and past interactions. In short, like ChatGPT memory. That said, folks, let me know in the comments what you think of this new version of Claude, what your favorite features are, and what you think of Anthropic's approach compared to OpenAI. Don't miss the recommended videos, and as always, see you in the next one, folks. You all take care.